New leadership in local tech, new space facilities, and continued growth in VR usher in Central Florida's 2017 technology forecast. I'm Marco Santana, and this is Orlando Sentinel News Now. The Central Florida region has become home to a growing cluster of defense contractors and video game companies, and that growth has led experts to predict potentially big changes by year's end for tech, defense, and space here. The area's defense industry is led by Lockheed Martin, a large company that employs thousands in Central Florida. Its simulation and training divisions do a lot of their work here and lead a region that includes a number of small contractors. In the VR space, one executive has warned that growth will likely be only in the military and defense industry this year, which is still good for the region. In local tech news, 2017 will see the emergence of a new leader as tech advocate Diane Court takes over as the Orlando Tech Association's new executive director. She plans to engage members of the tech community more frequently in an effort to re-energize Orlando startup companies. In the video game industry, we will see a new group made up of several local game firms emerge. Brand VR will focus on VR contract work in a first-of-its-kind effort in Orlando. On Florida Space Coast, Blue Origin, the space launch company helmed by Jeff Bezos, will open a 750,000 square foot facility at Cape Canaveral. A second company, OneWeb, will also be moving into a 100,000 square foot facility in the area. Space Florida leaders say there is still work to do to grow the region's space business, but that they are on the right track. For more on these stories, stay on OrlandoSentinel.com.